Welcome to Living United. My name is Lori Paquel Stangle and I'm the Executive Director for the United Way of the Brown County area. And we are super excited today because we have a special guest and uh, we are going to be discussing LSS Meals, which is a senior nutrition program uh, here in Brown County. And we have the regional manager, Sarah Anderson. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Yeah. So one of the reasons we want to do uh, these shows is to basically um, make people aware of all the great programs that we have, the nonprofits here in Brown County. And you truly are countywide. Yes. And um, so just tell us about yourself and what you do at LSS Meals. So I'm the regional manager, which means I oversee our four meal sites in Brown County. We do have services in New Ulm, Comfrey, Springfield, and Sleepy Eye. We prepare all of our meals here in New Ulm at the community center on German. And then all the meals for Brown County are prepared there. And then we employ somebody who de delivers the food in bulk to the different communities in Brown County. So I've been with LSS since 2007, since we started with the meal program in the southern part of the state. And um, it's been really great to see how the program has grown it during that time. Um, late in 2007, we were asked to take over the Meals on Wheels program from the New Ulm Hospital. And so that was an addition at the time. So we, right now we have, um, our dine-in meals at the community center in New Ulm. And then we do have ma daily Meals on Wheels in New Ulm. And then in addition, we have Meals on Wheels in Comfrey two days a week. And then in Springfield, we have daily Meals on Wheels. And in Sleepy Eye, we have a meal site at Ross Park Apartments where we have daily sit-down hot meals. And then we also do daily Meals on Wheels in, in Sleepy Eye as well. So, uh, pun intended, you got a lot on your plate. <laughs> we, I, um, I oversee this, this service in a seven county area, so, but I've always, I've been with Brown County since 2007, so some other parts of my area I work with have changed, but I've always had Brown County, and awesome. I love working with the people here. Wonderful. So I know um, you're one part of an organization of, of, of programs. Um, so how does your funding work for uh, the uh, meals program? Right. So Lutheran Social Service in Minnesota, we, um, some of our other services do receive funding from United Way of Brown County area for our caregiver support services and then some of our financial counseling services. But for our meals program, um, about a third of our funding comes from the Minnesota River Area Agency on Aging, and that incorporates... Uh, government sources of funding from the Federal Older Americans Act to um, state money from the state of Minnesota and then some federal USDA money. And that's awarded on a contract basis and we are paid for the meals that we serve. About another third comes from the people we provide the meals to directly. Um, so for anybody 60 and older, there's no set charge for the meals they can make a suggested contribution, whatever they can afford, but there's no set charge. So currently we have a suggested donation for anybody 60 and older of $4.50 a meal, but we're averaging in Brown County um, somewhere around $2.50 a meal, which really shows there's a big gap between what people can afford to, to give yeah. and what we request yeah. that they give us. So about um, another third is actually unfunded and that's where the United Way dollars come in is to help us provide the service to people who cannot afford to pay for their meals. Sure and so if you um, were to to guess you know how many um, people are out there in Brown County receiving meals completely for free who can't afford it what, what would that number look like? 
I guess that would be hard to say only because the the diners make their meals confidentially. We don't oh, sure. we don't really yeah. know what any one person is able to give. Um, but I can tell you of um, a couple who approached us because um, the wife was going to be going into the hospital. Her and she's a caregiver for her husband who was a veteran, and they were on a very very um, tight income constraints, really, but they were both 60 and older. So I told them, just contribute what you can. Sure. Um, because we don't turn anybody away who can't afford to pay for their meals if they're 60 and older. So in this situation, you know, we were able to say, please contribute what you can. And, and also, you know, knowing we have some United Way, Way dollars that can, help that that. can kind of help shore up for, in particular, that situation. What is sad is this, this, this gentleman is a veteran, and yet we cannot get um, services, our services paid for through the Veterans Administration because of some, some regulations around not being a home care agency or something like that. So that where, um, where there might have been a pay source for them, there, there really wasn't in this case. So, um, yeah. So this was a program they really needed. Absolutely, absolutely. And I'm sure and there's a lot of stories like that where, you know, a situation comes up where they just, or maybe they have been able to pay for a while and suddenly things change for them. Someone's ill, something happens, they can't pay. It's right. nice to, to know that they will not be turned away no matter what. And yes, they yes. Have funding and for that. We do try to, we do work with people. We can send um, statements to adult children if their children might be willing to pay or maybe, um, maybe their church would be willing to pay their meals for them. Mm -hmm. We can accept SNAP benefits in lieu of a cash oh, donation. That's good so to know. So SNAP is the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program. So that's the, the new name of the old food stamps program. Um, but of course, there's, um, there's no requirement that people use their SNAP benefits, mm -hmm. but it is another option to pay, help pay for their meals. Um, where people do qualify for medical assistance, we do work with uh, Brown County Human Services nice. to serve people who... So you make those connections with yes. all the community resources to make sure people don't slip through the cracks. <laughs> right, right. We do really try to uh, find pay sources for, for people's meals. And then um, if, if there really isn't a, another way, then um, that's where we can... We're happy to say, pay what you can afford. Yeah. And okay. so, um, you know, I'm from the, you know, this might be marking my age, but it was always known as Meals on Wheels, Meals on Wheels, right. and uh, an LSS Meals is so much more than that. So, talk right. about the difference between the meals that are delivered and the ones you can have um, at a location and where those locations are. Right. So we, we also went underwent a uh, rebranding effort recently because we really can't provide a meal to anybody. It's just a matter of what someone pays. So the full cost of our meal currently is $7.40. And if somebody is 55, just got home from surgery, and they're able to pay $7.40, they can have meals delivered sure. to them. Um, so they don't have to be that 60, 65 no, range to no, qualify. No, nope. um, it's, it's just that there is a set charge for people who are, are younger, younger than 60. Okay. But that's still a cheap meal for $7.40 for someone who uh, maybe physically can't do it themselves or... A complete meal that is nourishing yes. and will help you in your recovery. Yes. So it's, it's a much better meal for you than just frozen dinners picked up fast food fast right before you're going to go into the hospital kind of a thing or recovering so, from some surgery right and we certainly are more than just a meal because for um you know we we've we've received calls all the time from um uh, you know family members who are living in the cities but their loved one is out here sure. and you know thank you for checking in on mom you know she was just gone today because she had her doctor's appointment and she forgot, got to tell us. And so 
we call to make sure there's nothing wrong because she didn't answer the door sure. and um, so, so we're, it's more than just the meal. It's it's a friendly, neighborly visit to how right. are you doing? Are you okay? And it's a great reassurance for caregivers, for family, um, for our diners themselves. You know, someone's going to look in on you regularly and follow up if something's missing. Um, but with our rebranding, we aren't. We also used to be known as senior dining, yes. and we're not, a, we're not a dining program. Yes, you come in and you sit down and you have a meal with us and with, um, with some good company, but it's not, it's not a dining program. There's, uh, there, our menus are planned by dietitians. They're planned to meet a third of the recommended daily allowances. They're portion controlled. They meet the nutrient requirements for vitamin C, A, iron, sodium, wow. fiber. <laughs> so there's a science behind. Yes. Um, it's not just a meal. It's a nutritious meal. Absolutely. So um, so we are calling our dine-in sites LSS Bistro to reflect that um, more of that conviviality, eating with others, because we there's so many studies coming out now that show that loneliness, eating alone is as harmful as smoking 20 cigarettes a day. It's a huge stressor. Yes, so we know our meals help reduce depression, social isolation. People eat more nourishing and better quality of food when they eat with others. So it's just not a, a, a dine-in program and, and what have you. So. Um, so for our community dining programs, we have the community center. That certainly is open to anybody. Um, again, if you're 60 and older, it's a suggested donation. We have a really short registration form for you to fill out. Um, in Ross Park, in Sleepy Eye, our meal site is at Ross Park Apartments, but anybody is, you don't have to live there. Anyone's welcome to Anybody come in. is welcome to come into to the building. It's in their really lovely decorated um, community room, and then we work with Sleepy Eye Area Home Health to actually serve the meals there and, and package our meals on wheels. So, But both of those locations are open to anybody. Um, in Springfield and Comfrey, we are limited to meals on wheels, but we those are available for takeout. You don't have to have them delivered to you. You can mm -hmm. pick them up if you wish. And... Um, and then we have frozen meals that are the same meals we serve hot, just we freeze them down so they're available for weekend, evening, holidays, whenever it's convenient. So Very nice. So many options. That's great. And yes. that it is countywide is so super important. Um, you know, whenever the United Way funds a program, um, we love it when they're, those dollars are able to reach everyone in Brown County. And so um, the LSS uh, Meals Program is, is perfect for that. So if someone, um, their loved one or themselves, would like to have a meal or mm -hmm. uh, look into that, what's the best way for them to get more information from you on how to get involved in the program as far as receiving uh, meals or dining in at the bistro. <laughs> um, I love that name, the bistro. <laughs> it sounds so awesome. We um, probably would recommend you calling our New All Meal site, and you can speak to Sue Date, our site coordinator, and that's 359-2243. Uh, and so it's a separate phone line, phone number then from CAST at the... So it's just the, for you guys to use to... Right, yep. So that would be, and she can tell you about um, the meals that are coming up, how to get signed up for that, and and um, how to reserve your meal, and and walk you through Cost all of that. Cost and everything, right? And eligibility and yeah, and she can. Um, since all of our meals for Brown County are prepared from there, she would be able to speak a little bit about the services elsewhere in the county. But if she runs into a question she can't answer, she can always loop me in and I can help with that as well. Connect so. everybody, that's right. great. Um, so one, um, I know this is a, such a huge program. Um, you're preparing food, you're delivering food, you're making sure that's nutritious and, and there's just a lot of irons in the fire to right. make this program happen. 
Um, so I'm guessing you um, have other staff, but maybe use a lot of volunteers. So if someone's interested in volunteering, <clears throat> um, which I'm sure you need, how would they, uh, what would they be doing per se, and, and how could they get involved? We have five different delivery routes in New Alm every day, and roughly two people per delivery route. So essentially, we need about um, 10 people a day. One of our routes is staffed by uh, different businesses in town oh, on nice. kind of a rotating business, and we would welcome more business or civic groups yeah. to that. Um, in Sleepy Eye, with the closing of Del Monte, they were scheduled to deliver Meals on Wheels oh. for us the whole month of, of November. So that's a huge loss. That's a huge Not loss. Not just for the community, but also for the programming right. in the area as well. Right. Oh. So when, when a business closes, it doesn't just affect the employees, but all the, the nonprofits and charities they also supported and relied on for support. So that's um, an area we'll be filling um, with volunteers shortly. Another really kind of fun group activity we've been working with is our blizzard meals. So we provide blizzard meals to our diners at least once a month. Um, through the kind of fall winter season actually we do it year round um, so it's non-perishable canned chicken tuna soups fruit cocoa packets crackers something they can stick on the shelf and on that cold blizzard day when yes. maybe the meals don't get delivered exactly they got a backup plan or if they're sick yeah. um, and can't get out of the house or there's a power outage or um, flooding or yeah. what have you so um so the past couple years, a lot of our ELCA church partners have kind of come together on Rally Sunday and have gathered all the food items and packaged them together. And they've had, and that's been young, old kids, adults work intergenerationally putting these meals together. So very similar to the the backpack food program, but it's for for our elders, yeah. and it's um, a great group project. And if somebody's interested in that, they can contact me oh, directly. Sounds like a great team building opportunity it for is. a business it or is. an organization. Yes. And <laughs> it's it's really fun. People, um, it, it's just, it goes to, you know, it goes fast. It's, it's a group project you can do at your own location. You don't have to leave anywhere. Yeah. We're happy to come and pick up the meals. Um, delivery isn't necessarily needed, but we also are looking for, um, groups to help us deliver those maybe separately from our Hot Meals and Wheels um, so we don't have to deliver deliver them at the same time. It could be because they're non-perishable, they don't need to be refrigerated yeah, or, or yeah. exactly so they can be um, delivered at a different time of day and yeah. whatever might work with groups too. So that's another opportunity. Nice. Gives you a lot of flexibility that way. Yes, yes. Um, so I assume that you take donations, whether do. it be uh, food donations or dollars. Right. Obviously, if you give to the United Way, you can always designate your donation to go directly to um, LSS Meals. But if people would like to donate, how would they do that? Um, they can um, write checks out to LSS Meals and or if they wanted to drop their donation off at the meal site in New Ulm, that would work. Uh, and we always are looking for sponsors for our, we call them Two Buck Tuesdays, where we can, a sponsor will kind of offset the cost of the meal for our diners oh, for perfect. that day. Um, so that's another kind of giving opportunity. And we, we do some promotion around who our sponsor is and and that kind of thing. So, but the, our, our meal site here in New Alm can take those donations. Perfect, wonderful. Well, thank you so much for, you know, I learned so much just sitting down. That's why I love doing these Living United shows where we focus on our nonprofits. We have so many great nonprofits in our community. Um, but I learned so much because oh. even though I work with you guys and uh, and feel like I kind of know a lot about it, I still, there's stuff that you just don't always know. and. Hopefully people can um, get involved, um, help out, or if they or a loved one would need this program, now they know a little better how to uh, set that up and 
make sure that every senior or every person who needs a meal gets a meal. Great, so, thank you. Yeah, anything else you want to add? Only that a year's worth of senior meals costs less than a one day's hospital stay. Good point. So we really are quite a bargain in, in that whole um, helping to keep people independent it's better to and stay healthy, healthy at home. Yes. yes. Yes, preventative care or preventative nutritious meal. Exactly. Very good. Well, thank you so much, Sarah. I Great. really appreciate it. Thanks for having me in. Well, thank you again for joining us for another Living United. Um, a few things coming up with the United Way. Um, we have Thursday, November 7th. Mark your calendar our fundraiser, Power of the Purse. Um, it's a ladies event, um, although gentlemen are welcome to come as well. Um, but it's a evening where we can um, use the power of the purse to empower our youth. All the proceeds go to benefit our in-house kids programs. So think Imagination Library, Youth Scholarship, and our backpack program. So uh, how does this all work? Well, it's an evening with designer purses. You get a chance to win one of three, plus we'll have a lovely auction table with other purses and accessories for uh, the ladies to bid on. And um, we're gonna have fun with some games. We, last year we played uh, Purse Bingo, which we'll be playing more of this year because everyone loved it. And they were like, only one game of bingo? No, we gotta have more. So we're gonna play about three different kinds of bingo. And then we are gonna do a purse scavenger hunt again. And we're gonna test your purse IQ. And whoever is the winner will win one of three designer, either a coach, Kate Spade, or Michael Kors designer purse. So we'll also be having a guest speaker. Um, Andrea Lynn will be presenting um, how to write your own song and find your own brand. She'll be entertaining us and inspiring us and helping us figure out how we can really define ourselves and our message that we wanna put out there into the world. Um, so looking forward to that. And of course, then we will also have a uh, chance for everybody to network with each other and have volunteer opportunities um, through United Way and how you can get signed up. And uh, just really gonna be a fun, fun evening. So mark your calendars, ladies, Thursday, November 7th. That's the beginning of the shopping opener or hunting opener, whichever you prefer. I prefer shopping opener. Um, my husband might differ on that. Um, and have a good time. It's, tickets are just $45 a piece, and you can get those at any of the chamber offices in Brown County or at the United Way office. Um, if you want to reserve tickets, give us a call, 507-354-6512, or check it out on our website, um, www.unitedwaybrowncountyarea.org. And on another note, there's still time to book your campaign presentation with United Way. And it's really important this year to have a presentation at your office, business place, organization, because you will get entered in a chance to win one of three great prizes. We're calling it our 2019 Tropical Key Campaign. And uh, just by booking a presentation and filling out a uh, pledge card and returning it to the United Way, you get entered into a drawing to win one of three great prizes with the top tier prize being a trip for two to St. George's Key Resort in beautiful Belize. Um, it's a five day stay and everything's included. Just gotta get your plane ticket to get down there. Uh, second prize is a $500 gift card from Hy-Vee, and third prize is a $300 pork package from Christensen Farms. So really cannot lose. So book your presentation between now and May 30th. Um, we'll enter your name in a, as a chance to win, and then at our June fundraiser, which is our final fundraiser of our year, um, our all-star challenge, uh, beach uh, volleyball challenge, we will draw three names. So if you want your name in the drawing, give us a call, send us an email, book your campaign presentation with United Way. 
It's a win-win. It's a win when you give and you could win a trip to tropical Belize. Thanks.